everyone, Piper from Woodland Wanderings here to just say hi. Uh, making a couple videos today, so this is good for me. Um, I just wanted to share something that I made recently. This was a lot of fun. Um, if you can hear my little dog, she's crying. She wants attention, so sorry about that. But anyhow, um, I got this little caddy thing. It was like a, it's just made out of wood, plain wood. Got it at Hobby Lobby. I think it was about four dollars. And it's it's a little caddy, caddy. I think it's about six by six, and it fits perfectly a lot of my sprays. These are mainly the Lindsay um, sprays, but there's one, two, there's five Lindsay sprays and two of the Tattered Angels in here, and it also fits a little bottle of water and three of my little homemade sprays. So it fits a good amount for a small caddy. And I just wanted to share it with you real quick. Um, I used my currently favorite paper, the Garden Tea Party Stack, which I explained before in another video, is nothing new, but I'm just loving this paper and I'm using it in so many things. And so I used that to decorate my little caddy, and I also just used some found objects. There's actually a um, an old broken paintbrush, there's old keys that's affixed to it, um, metal findings that I love using. There's fabric, there's lace, some, some old lace scraps, um, buttons, and it's got a really, really, really textured feel to it. Here's some more fabric. I love how that lace looks. Um, the texture comes from cheap tub and tile caulk, which is plain old acrylic bright white caulk. I use this for so many things. It just adds the nicest texture and it's really cheap. This whole bottle or tube, 5.5 fluid ounces, it only costs two dollars and I get it at big lots. So um, anyhow, I have never purchased the modeling paste that a lot of people use um, just because this works really well and I'd love to one day just try it and compare it and see if there's a difference. But I love the texture that you can get from this. It dries quickly and it's really fun to use. So that's what I use to do like all of the texturizing. And there's just layers and layers and layers under it. Primarily the garden tea party paper that I um, I used. And then there's also some vintage and not so vintage even book pages that I um, layered. And some of my little die cut butterflies. And there's a little key lock and just lots of little findings. There's even a paper clip adhered to this and it just has a really kind of a shabby chic look to it and lots of yummy yummy texture. Here's the brick that I used, um, a brick stencil and I used the caulk over it and I really like how that came out and another key there. So just wanted to share that with you. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, you may want to try to do something like that. I'm always trying to look for some storage ideas for my desk. Things that don't take up a lot of space but that really do store things for me. And um, I'm using this a lot so just wanted to share that with you. Thanks so much everybody. Stay warm and um, have a great day.